maker, miracle worker, promise. The way maker is making a way for you right now, wherever you are. Kabbalah Bayada. The way maker is making a way for you right now, wherever you are. Masekebo Shakata. Lebra Kabo Sukono Sukutu. I worship you. I worship you. Light in the darkness, that is who you are. Kabala Moshit, the Bosia, Tabayada, Waymaker, Miracle Walker, Promise Keeper. Light in the darkness, that is who you are. Kabala Bosia, Talabala, Bayada, Yada, Maseko Bosia, Talabakila, Broso, Kosole Bosia. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, that is Yes, Lord. You heal the broken heart. You are the answer to it all. What's his name called? Jesus. You are poetic. Kalabashata. You heal the broken heart. You are the answer. My 
Aida. Kebo se tebo shakabala bayada. Fara <laughs> Somebody just worship him. Wave your hands to him. Wave your hands to him. We are going to do something we have not done here before. We are going to pray like the way we have not prayed before. This what we are going to do today is we are going to pray a prayer that is called chain prayer. We are going to pray a chain prayer. Okay, so make sure that you are seated comfortably. Anywhere you are, be comfortable. We are going to mention cases and we are going to be dealing with those cases chainly. We are going to pray a chain prayer this afternoon, this morning, this night, depending on where you are. We are going to be praying a chain prayer today. Okay, so I'm going to randomly be picking people in the same situation that we're going to be praying with or i'm going to be picking you know randomly just bringing people up here to join faith with mine as we pray those prayers so i'm going to pick from instagram i'm going to pick from um from um facebook and we're going to be praying that prayer so if i bring you up please you're going to stand in the gap for everyone in in the category of of the people that we are going to be praying for and you're going to stand in the gap and pray for them now we are still talking about goodness and mess we are still talking about goodness and mess please go ahead share share yesterday uh, uh, on, on on sunday we targeted to share to 10 people each on tuesday we targeted to share to 20 people each today we are targeting to share to 30 people each so please make sure that you share to at least 30 people and when you do that let me know if you're in discipleship class you're entitled to share to 100 people when you share to 100 people if you're in discipleship class you let me know amen please if you share let us know that you have shared because there is a reward that awaits you that only our father in heaven can give you so the least that we can do is to stand in the gap and speak and pronounce words of god over your life now i told us on on on, on tuesday the meaning of surely goodness and mercy and then we also talked about uh he said um Goodness and mercy, we said, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we'll keep dwelling in the house of the, which was the last thing that we talked about. So just in case you're joining us for the first time, God bless you as you continue to share. God bless you. And we said the first time, surely means confidence in God, undivided trust in the Lord, undivided, um, undivided, um, attention from God, not having another alternative, but you have made up your mind, you have believed and you have you have finally concluded that it is God or nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, you have uh, concluded it's God or nothing. And then the next thing that we talk about is goodness. And I told us that goodness and mercy are characteristics of God. I actually call goodness and mercy the messengers of heaven. Okay, they are the messengers of heaven. And we talk about goodness speaking of uh, goodness speaking of the, the goodness and mercy being the characters of Christ. And I told us that goodness speaks of the, the uh, goodness speaks of um okay let me say this goodness is actually a divine provision for us goodness is the attributes of christ like i already said goodness and mercy both of them are the attributes of christ and i said goodness speaks of the meeting our needs as children of god our supernatural provision our supernatural abundance why mercy speaks of forgiveness mercy speaks of our assurance as children of god so now we have already talked about goodness and mercy we talked about it last week um on tuesday already and the last one that i said i said shall follow us all the days of our life meaning that whether storm whether rain 
whether anything that the goodness and the mercy of God is in our lives. No matter regardless of what we have been through, you know, regardless of what we are going through, just always have at the back of your mind that see, it doesn't matter what I've been through, it doesn't matter what I've gone through, it doesn't matter what I am going through, goodness and mercy of God is here with me. It is staying with me, it ain't going nowhere. It is something that God has already promised me. And then we talked about all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord. And I told us that one thing that is guaranteed is that any day you dwell in the presence of God. Any day you dwell in God's house, there is always a reward from God for you. Any day that we dwell in the house of the Lord, any day that we do the things that that pleases God, there is always a reward for us. And then on Sunday, Pastor Frank told us about, he said, before goodness and mercy can, can follow you, there is something that must happen first. And that thing is that your head must contain the anointing. And now when we talk about anointing, now we use the anointing on you to do it. But we're actually speaking of the anointing of God, which like I said, we use the anointing on you to do it. We are speaking, the, the Bible said in, in uh, verse 5 of Psalm 3, he said, he anointed my head with oil. So for your destiny to always go to the next level, there must be something that is called the anointing. The Bible says the anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke of the enemy. So anytime your head is anointing, it gives you, it opens a new phase of your life. It promotes you. It releases the auction to function. So there are so many things that anointing of God does in our lives. It, it, it announces us. The anointing of the Lord sets us from level one to level 10. The anointing of the Lord is what makes way in darkness for us. Okay. And just like the song that we just said, he said, he's a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in our darkness. I re I'm rushing this because I really, what God told me today is that we should pray what is called chain prayer. So what we actually came today to do is to pray what is called chain prayer. Like I said, I'm going to be picking people randomly from a Facebook live or from Instagram live. We're going to be picking people randomly and they'll be using them as a point of contact for whatever prayer point that we are praying for. Okay, so please stay connected to this service and remember why you share. Just keep sharing and keep letting me know that you have shared. Keep sharing this service and God will continue to bless us. Some people will say, why is she emphasizing on sharing? Yes, because it's a form of evangelism. Everywhere is locked down now. We don't go from one place to the other, passing flyer to people. This is a platform that we, that we pass our own flyer. And let me say this to you, child of God. Anytime God uses your platform, he blesses you. The Bible said in Luke chapter 5, and Jesus used the boat of Peter. What happened? The moment after he came down from that evangelism, the life of Peter never remained the same. So look at your platform as a boat of Peter that God is about to use in this service. And then put a demand on his word. Father, you blessed Peter, you enlarged him, you told him to cast his net. So there is no how you use my platform and, and, and not bless me. It's not possible. Remember I said, if you're in discipleship class, make sure you share at least 100 times and let me know you've shared 100 times. If you're any other place, target to share 30 people and God will continue to bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you continue to share. Please, if you're a worker in, in All Stars, if you're a worker here, Please, there are people that are saying that they've shared. Continue to pick their names and pray for them. Just randomly. You see what Rendioma is doing, picking people's names and saying, God bless them. Please continue to pick people's names and, and pray for them. But every other person, we are going to pray for you generally. The first thing we are going to pray for today, the first thing that we are going to seek today is the mercy of God. The Bible says goodness and mercy, the mercy of God. Now, anytime there is mercy of God, there is abundance of goodness. Anytime the mercy of God prevails in the life of a believer, automatically there is an abundance of goodness. Understand this for fact. We are going to pray. God bless you. We are going to pray for abundance of mercy in this service oh lord let your mercy prevail that's one thing we are going to pray for in this service. that's one thing we are going to desire in this service that's one thing we are going to cry out for in this service nothing but the mercy of god we are going to cry out we are going to ask god for his mercy we are going to ask god father let your mercy prevail lord let your mercy prevail father let your mercy prevail in this service oh lord let your mercy prevail let your mercy prevail let your mercy, prevail. Let your mercy speak 
for us. Let your mercy stand in this house. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Everybody lift your voice. Begin to cry out for the mercy of God. I am inviting Prince from Instagram. As you come on, begin to ask for the mercy of God. I'm inviting people randomly, begin to cry out for the mercy of God. Father, let your mercy prevail in this service. Father, let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Maso kobo shakata la brekabo sokoto. Masin talabayada. Le bro kabazunde rebo siakila bro sokoto. Ma shata. Le kruba kabazinda daba. Le brakabo siakata. Sister Ma from Facebook, I am bringing you on also. As you accept, begin to cry out for mercy. Let the mercy of the Lord prevail upon every soul in this service. Let the mercy of the Lord prevail upon every life in this service. Le kruba kaba shakata. Masunda daba kalibro kabo ziakata. Libra 